Hey guys, Shocker from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix any problem with your smartphone in relation to Wi Fi, Bluetooth, your mobile connection, your data connection, anything in relation to any one of these connections. I want to show you guys how to fix that within a minute. A lot of people make the mistake of actually selling their phone or trading it in and getting a new one because of persistent connection problems. That is not what you want to do. There's a very simple, easy, fix so the first step is you go to your settings okay and then you scroll all the way down and you go over to general management right over here and then at the bottom you go to reset now when you go to reset what you don't want to do is you do not want to do a factory data reset that is overkill for these connection problems plus you also have to do a backup and it's a long process so basically all you do is based on what you're having in relation to your problems. So if you have a problem with your mobile network, you actually go here and you simply reset mobile network connection. Let's just say your SIM card is not working or maybe your mobile data is not working. You simply do that. If you have any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth problems, you tap this guy and you simply reset these settings. Now when you do reset the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, your current Wi-Fi, so in my case, I am connected to my local home Wi-Fi, that is gonna lose its password, so I'm gonna have to reconnect it. So when you do reset on this one, it wipes out all the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. And again, if I go to my Bluetooth settings right over here, you can see I have all these products here connected to my device. All that's gonna be wiped out, everything is gonna be reset, and even stuff that you don't see gets reset which is the key in fixing these uh, connection problems. So never do the factory data reset just for connection. Either do this or this or both. Most people don't even use this, but you can test this out if you're having other problems. But then you can also do a reset all. Now when you tap on reset all, it is one, two, three. It just wipes and resets all the settings within here, including any settings you have set up in the regular settings. That means if you have any settings modified in here anywhere, all that stuff is gonna get reset. Okay, just keep that in mind, so don't touch that button for no reason. I like to go logically, so if I have a Wi-Fi problem, I start with the Wi-Fi reset, okay? If that doesn't solve it, then I do a reset all, and that just wipes all these things up, and then I reconnect and retest everything. Most of the time, it is gonna work just fine. Now I will let you know when you tap on reset here and you click on reset, it is going to ask you to confirm your PIN because this is not something anybody should be able to do. You will have to put your PIN number or your fingerprints or your biometrics, whatever, and that's going to start the process. Uh, with these ones, you don't need that. If I tap on reset, it just starts the reset as you can see just happened. So now I would have to reconnect to my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth uh, products, okay? But that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?